Lisa Jo Spelicheri Mamuti when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object sometimes just an interesting director actor combo is enough to get you excited about a film and to be honest this combo is what kept me watching Nan Pagal Neer to Mayakam and my two brain cells were fighting between each other whether to like it or dislike it until of course the final act when i was talking about this movie to a friend of mine he asked me to describe what the movie is about and he asked me whether it's a horror or a sci-fi movie which it's absolutely not and that's what's strangely beautiful about this film every lizo film is different from each other but this one especially cannot be slotted in any genre so even if i don't believe that this is his best film it's among his most unique films for sure firstly i think it takes balls to take a star like mamuti whose minute expressions can be exploited so well but he decides to just make mamuti a part of the frame and give him just maybe 3 or 4 close up shots in the entire film which also makes these shots more impactful and we'll get to these shots later but most of the film is just framed using static shots like if i'm talking to you like this the camera would be placed all the way there as if the camera is a person an observer looking at the scene from a distance there is this thin line between excellence and indulgence and lijo keeps jumping between these two but what can't be denied that it takes guts and a certain level of maturity to pull off something like this this restraint is something that he has gained over the course of his filmography over the years one more element that keeps crossing the line of indulgence is the sound design <laughs> Almost the entire film has these old Tamil songs or dialogues from old Tamil films running in the background because the story takes place in a small village in Tamil Nadu and yes every song and every dialogue might be adding some kind of subtext to what's happening on screen but at the same time sometimes it just gets a little tiring a little exhausting this could also have been done because without this constant soundtrack the film would be full of silences so maybe this idea of using old Tamil film songs and dialogues is done to infuse some energy to the film or maybe it's to give Give the feeling of traveling in a bus, listening to old music, and just falling asleep to it, and dreaming while it becomes the soundtrack of your dreams. But beyond the unhurried pace, the static shots, and the sound design, this is a film that has to be experienced because of mainly three reasons: the open to interpretation nature. I personally don't believe that a film has to have a strong plot that it has to be about something. And while Nanpagal Neerthu Mayakam has a plot, what it's actually about is completely open to interpretation. For example, there's this fellow cinephile called Fahir that I follow on Twitter and he had posted a thread about his interpretation of what happens in the end. And usually on Twitter what people do is when they see a hot take, they either make fun of such a hot take or they will start abusing. But the beauty of this film is even if people have disagreed with his opinion, which includes me, after a long time I'm seeing people on Twitter having a civil discussion about a movie and what it could be about, giving their own theories of scenes and shots and screenshots and when something like this happens it means the film has won and so has cinema to describe the vibe of this film i am reminded of kahani from lal singh chadda one of my favorite songs in recent times that talks about the free flowing strange nature of life like take these roughly translated lyrics are we a part of the story or are we the story itself are we a drop of the ocean or are we the ocean itself is it important to understand everything that's going on or is it better to not try understanding it at all if you watch the film i'd like to know what you thought of the ending what the film meant what the ending meant and particularly what you thought of that shadow shot the perspective when we watch a film we look at life through the character's eyes and when we see him or her go through their own struggles subconsciously we understand something about our own lives similarly when we travel to a village or a city or another country when we meet locals and look at their life and their culture through their eyes we understand more about worlds that we don't know much about but assume a lot about subconsciously we experience compassion empathy and so many other things that we wouldn't have if we spent all our lives in a single place nanpagal neerthu mayakam merges both the experiences of watching such a film and traveling because when james an irritable malayali man who's not particularly fond of tamilians when he visits a village in tamil nadu and and literally lives as a tamil man the transformation that he and the rest of his co travelers go through at least my take away from their journey is the importance of acceptance acceptance despite differences and i love it when films can drive home such a feeling without being preachy the final reason why this film works so well despite all of its flaws is of course the chameleon called m
Mamuti. Just like how James enters this foreign world and lives as Sundaram, it's not something new to say that Mamuti is that rare superstar who enters the world that the filmmaker creates and just becomes that character. And even if he has played so many similar characters over the years, there are these little nuances that he brings that makes even similar characters look so different from each other. The best example of this virtue can be seen towards the end where Lijo gives Mamuti that rare close-up in the film and James, his character, wakes up from the nap and that particular expression that he has on his face, it's so unbelievably real and nuanced. Many claim that this is Mamuti's career best performance and honestly, I can't comment on that because I have to see enough of his films to make an informed opinion. Even though my personal favourites have been Madhilagal, Vidyan, Peranbu and Munnaripu, this performance is definitely special because of how lived in the character feels and also his flawless Tamil delivery. Just like how the film chooses to be ambiguous and vague, I don't think I'm going to give a verdict on how good or bad the film is. That's up to you to decide. But for sure, Nanpagal Nerthu Mayakam needs to be experienced, thought about, discussed about and dreamt about. If you've already watched the film, let me know your thoughts, your theories, your explanation, interpretations, everything in the comments. And if you've not, go check it out on Netflix when you're absolutely free. Your mind is free from any certain distraction and when you have time on your hands. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.